Welcome to this Lubuntu screencast. This screencast is all about sharing information over the net and accessing data over the net via an easy protocol like OpenSSH. So you might have the problem that you have different, various different computers that are located on various different uh, sites. For example, you are sitting in your um, in your office and you have your computer at home that's one or two kilometers um, away from your office and you want to access very important data that you have stored on your home PC. So there are easy options of course you can use Dropbox or Voila or other uh, file sharing sites that allow you to automatically synchronize also data but what uh, if you have what is if you have data that's very important to you and that you don't want to have um, automatically stored every time on an online service um, if you have data that you want to only share on demand or if you have um, graphical applications um, that store data like a database application the open office base for example that stores some uh, files and th you don't want them to have somewhere online on the on on a server where, where you don't know uh, where it is located you want it at home safely and you want to connect to your home PC safely so there are various different uh, applications that allows you that allow you to do this. Uh, one is of course VNC. This uh, allows you to create in a screen session and to connect to your screen um, on your located uh, home PC for example, away located home PC for example, or other various different formats that work the same way. So they take the screen of your uh, somewhere else located computer and will pro project them simply onto your um, currently working computer but this isn't the nice way to do um, and it will take a lot of bandwidth and uh, this is not very fast and so I will show you how you can do such a thing easily or more easy with OpenSSH. OpenSSH is in protocol and um, first of all, before we can use OpenSSH, we need to install a server if you want. So this is first of all the uh, tutorial on how to create or how to, um, yeah, how to simply turn Lubuntu 10.10 .10 into an or add an OpenSSH server to Lubuntu 10.10. .10. We will first open up a terminal emulator, LX terminal. Then we will just simply install with sudo apt-get install the open SSH server. Make sure to type in your password. It will download the open SSH server package and will then automatically unpack, extract it and install it. As you can see it's creating also SSH uh, keys here and then it's starting the server. So now we have an open SSH server. So the only thing that we need to do for our local network to figure out uh, how to access this server is uh, get an IP address. So ifconfig and here you have uh, the Ethernet 0 um, hardware that I'm using here right now. It has this uh, IP address. So if you want to also connect to this computer over the net make sure of course uh, if you have a home pc if you have the router installed that the router uh, actually um, has port forwarding on for port 21 and 25 and then all you need to do is go to your browser to your browser and go on to the website whatismyip.org and it will give you your IP address that you need for connecting from the internet so from the outside world the internet basically to your current uh, machine so if I want to connect now to this machine I need to enter this uh, IP address 
Okay, let me show you now how to connect to another PC that I'm running here via SSH. So first of all in the terminal SSH, the command of course, then the username in my case it's the same one as I'm using here right now on the PC but that doesn't matter then the IP address and hit enter um, when you first try to connect it will ask if the uh, authentication key, the RSA key, fingerprint is correct are you, want to, uh, are you um, ready to continue the connection we say yes here then it will ask for the user's password this is the password that you applied onto the user where you started the OpenSSH server onto the computer where the user is running or logged in where you started the OpenSSH server so I will type it in here and now you can see welcome to Lubuntu I'm on the 701 so my little EPC which is uh, running um, uh, 7S 3.0 as you can see here so uh, another Linux distribution based on Ubuntu and now I have access with LS to my data and this is I think very cool and very good and I can also if I have some um, music or something music player and uh, console based music player and CLI based mu music player I can start playing something and so on but I cannot start graphical applications right now so if I want to also start graphical applications because I have a database like I said before a database application like the open office base and I want to um, control it from there or I want to start a browser for example a browsing session because I know the EPC um, this is only uh, only EPC that I, I can uh, recover very fast and I want to make a very secure browsing experience uh, then I can also start the browser here for this we need to first go out here exit then we we'll search for the command and we have to add the option the parameter minus x this will allow as it will prompt for the password again this will allow also to start x um, applications so those x applications will be rerouted to our computer so when I'm starting now here I have no dead beef for example this is a music application here installed I hope so <laughs> As you can see, I have Aqualung, Cheese, Gnome, Amplayer, and XF Burn, so no dead beef. But if I want to use dead beef now from my EPC, I can simply type in dead beef. And it will open up here on my desk with my theme enabled. As you can see. But it really is running on my EPC. And I have my EPC right next to me, so if I start playing this song, for example. You might hear my EPC in the background. So it's now playing back uh, this song here and as you can see it's working quite fast because I'm now working on my uh, local uh, LAN. So my local network, so this is working fast. From the internet it might have some uh, issues depending on your bandwidth. Let me stop this here. And of course there you have also some other options. If you go, first of all let me exit here. If you open up the man page of SSH you will get some uh, nice and interesting options. And one of the option here is the option that allows you to compress. Uh, so the minus C, big C option. Request compression of all data which is really important if you want to share the X11 session that you have on your computer. If so, if you want to have graphical applications running on your office computer, um, so your home computer's applications running on your office computer's co applications v via the internet. So this mostly requires compression if you have uh, bandwidth problems. So here you can set the compression and of course you, has, you have also some other options if you don't want to connect via the SSH session so you, if you don't want to 
go to the TTY of your home computer. You can use the command SCP, then of course the username and the IP address again, just like in uh, just like in SSH, and then you can type in the full path of the file that you want to copy. For example, I want to copy a file called VNC server and I want to copy it to my home directory. It will ask for the password. I can type it in and it will then start downloading the file. And as you can see, a few seconds later, 100% copied, 77 bytes only. So if you go to the home directory, you can see the file here, simple shell script that I copied over. And this also works uh, the other way around. So if I just add something in here, just like for example, echo added test text echo starting server, something like this. Let that be a comment, might be better. Save it, and then I want to re-upload it to my VNC uh, to my to my OpenSSH server PC, so my home PC in that case, my EPC. I can do so via SCP again. Uh, just SCP SCP VNC server in this case, and then the target. Um, bum bum bum. This IP address to the directory and hit enter. It will ask for the password again. And it uploaded, as you can see now, 120 bytes to my OpenSSH server. I can use SSH to log into this server again and just cat my VNC server file and as you can see it's really the file that I copied over or that I edited and now copied over. So this is basically the SSH and OpenSSH usage under Lubuntu 10.10. .10. The cool thing about OpenSSH is that almost every operating system has an OpenSSH server, so those uh, terminal logins mostly work on every operating system. So, uh, and th the interesting part is also that FreeBSDs, for example, or BSDs in, in common case, also use an X server so that you can also reroute the uh, graphical applications from a BSD system to your Linux system uh, very easily. But for all the other systems, you have also the option, of course, to copy files over. The open SSH, or SSH stands for Secure Shell, so it's a really secure protocol. And uh, it's really nifty, nice protocol, uh, runs on every operating system. I think there are also some uh, DOS-based clients, so even those old DOS boxes have uh, the ability to run an open SSH server. So this is everything for this screencast. I hope you enjoyed this and yeah, thanks for watching.